What's up guys? Remember the stack of these batteries that I brought home last year? Yeah, from a server rack, float voltage 13.5 to 13.8. I think they, they're lead acid. They seem to still work even when they get down to 12 volts, which is kind of what these uh, seem to be at after they've been sitting. So I've been talking about putting like 25 of them in series, which is gonna put them right in the voltage range of what my solar runs. So I don't even think I need a regulator or anything. So I just went ahead and crimped 25 of these bastards. Got 15 down there and then 10 more right here. It's coming out. Have it turned on. They're at 12 volts, so they're at the, like the, they're like pretty much drained to where they would need to be recharged. I have it plugged into my variable frequency drive that I already have hooked up on this water source heat pump. Utility power is unplugged, so I can only run this a few seconds because I don't have the water hooked up and I don't have the evaporator blower going. But just to see if it would run just off of uh, one group of 25, that's a two ton compressor. And yeah, it does. That's 40 hertz. Flip the switch, 60 hertz. Oops. It's not really set up to see all my readings. Here we go. 7 amps on the outlet. It'll keep going up as the head pressure goes up. But it doesn't seem to be straining at all. It's not low voltage or nothing. Turn it down to 40 hertz. Now the amps, when you're looking at the output, they're always uh, misleading when you do that because when you slow the frequency down, the uh, it also uh, does a pseudo, you know, lowers the voltage. does it with pulse width modulation, but overall... The averaging average voltage going to the windings is not your rated voltage at 230 it actually um, goes down in a linear fashion or however you set the vfd because you don't need the same voltage when you run it slower you can actually undercharge or whatever you know the windings <laughs> how else explain it but you just don't need the full rated voltage on the windings when you run under frequency so less work and I just put this stupid switch here. Just I was afraid to make the last connection <laughs> in case there was a short. I didn't want my hands anywhere near it. But yeah, that fucking works, and I figured it would. I was I would I wasn't so sure that 25 of these batteries, one strip, you know, in series, would uh, run a compressor. I thought maybe I'd need a couple banks because I have enough to make three or four banks left. It depends. I've ruined a couple batteries. Not to mention leaving them sitting out in the rain and starting to get corroded terminals. But like um, when my one battery charger blew up, I just threw this one on there a couple times. And that's not electronic. It probably has a really high gross voltage, when, especially when you crank it up and forget about it. And it swallowed up some of these. But I think these batteries are still good, so I could use them for project stuff. It's just that the plastic is reshaped. I don't think it's even got like, I don't think it's under continuous pressure per se, <laughs> hopefully. But it swallowed up the, the plastic on it. So that sucks but i still i think i still i think i had a hundred and something of those batteries originally and i got a bank of like four or five in here in the can-am i've got bank of is it 10 or is it 20. four was well, seven right there how deep does that go i think that i think it's just 10 of them that shoehorned in here um they don't fit that cabinet i just shoved them in there but in my 2200 watt UPS that's been running ever since I got those batteries that works so it was 10 I probably used 20 25 of them or something but I, I know there was well over 100 that I brought home so even if I don't have four can't make four banks of 25 that would be a what would that be a 25 s 4p it'd be a 20 three banks of 25 25 s 3p and if one bank you know, kind of buffer and run this thing. That's pretty cool. So, if I get, I was, I got a couple of totes. So I was just going to go ahead and probably wire up two banks of 25 here over the next couple of days and actually hook it up. Still haven't quite decided how I'm going to enclose these. I might just leave them in this plastic tote because it's supposed to be low buck. I could build something out of steel and hold all those, but when you're talking like 50 batteries, 75 batteries, the time for being neat kind of just <laughs> gets away from you. So, I could put 25 of them pretty easily in each one of these. So, there we go.